Hi beauties, finally it is here. It took my bag forever to arrive. I am of course talking about our final subscription for the month of November. That is our Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus. This is my bag, which we were waiting with bated breath for, and this is my mom's bag. It showed up about a week ago. It is much larger because she did a ton of add-ons. And I'm gonna be so honest with you guys, I don't know what was add-ons and what was her choices. I helped her go through it, but that was on the second. And honestly, today is the 20th and it feels like it, it was 25 years ago. So we're just gonna go through her bag and see all the stuff that she got. We'll go through my bag. I did not do add-ons this time. I was waiting for the BoxyCharm pop-up sale, which I did buy several things uh, and we're waiting for that box to show up. But yeah, so I waited for that. Um, I will also say, of course, uh, we. I think at this point, if you're an Ipsy subscriber, everybody knows. The Ultimate is going away after December and they are now introducing the Glam Bag X. It is like a boxy luxe for Ipsy. Basically every three months you get charged an additional $30 and you receive seven full size items and you get to choose three of them. We went ahead and signed up for it. I said, I wanna see what it's like. Uh, I wanna see how it works. I should have done more research uh, going into it. I should have more research for you guys right now. I don't. There's no excuse for that other than I'm just, I'm just going through it right now a little bit and I'm just like all over the place and I'm sorry for that guys. But um, so I don't know if it replaces our little bag. I don't know if it replaces the plus. I don't know how it works when you do have multiple subscriptions like my mom and I do. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I just figured what the hell, let's sign up for it. They'll take my $30 and we'll see what we get that month. Um, and then if it sucks, we'll just cancel. That's ki That was kind of my thought process. Is it the best thought process? Maybe not, but whatever. All right, into the bag, into the good stuff. Okay, so I do know that this was one of the things my mom got. I'm just gonna pull everything out of her bag and I'm, I think I can probably figure out what she added on and what she got and what she chose, but I don't, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, bag is cute. Um, I like the little bag much better. I don't like the material as much as this one. It's kind of like this parachute-y, canvas-y material. I don't know how to describe it. Still adorable though. I love the, I love the um, segmented colors. Uh, really cute, still worthwhile. I do kind of miss the little zipper bags for plus though. Now that we've gotten several of these, I've really liked some of them because I felt like the material is really good. I just feel like I miss, I understand why they did this because it does fit in like most of the add-ons and everything too, but I'm just chatty today, sorry. I know this is one of the things that she got, that she chose. This is the Murad Resurgence Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. It is huge, I love Murad. Uh, this is, I know, a pricier product. I think it's like an $80 cream or something like that. I think, I may be wrong. Sometimes I throw out numbers and I'm spot on and sometimes I throw out numbers and it's like, actually this is a $50 cream, but good try. So, um, but I'm pretty sure, I know this is a pricier product. I'm pretty sure it's like in the 80s. But yeah, really nice size. Um, let's see how many ounces it is. It's gotta be, yeah, 1.7 fluid ounces. And it's this cute little pump. I really like these types of, uh, containers where you push down and it pops out. I feel like it's it's easier to, to get the right amount that way rather than just like squeezing and hoping for the best or using the serum dropper and hoping for the best. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, so great product there. I was definitely a little bit jealous that I didn't get it. Um, and when we opened my bags too, I do wanna talk about, I didn't bring my phone in here, but I basically remember what the the email said. So but there was a little, a little interesting thing that went down with my bag this month, so. Okay, so I know this is one of the things she added on. This is the Tula Skincare Face Filter Blurring Moisturizing Primer. I shockingly did not buy this because I was really trying to be good because I knew I would buy during the boxy pop-up sale. I love Tula though. It, I, I love every Tula product I've tried so far. I have absolutely loved. In fact, I'm wearing the de-puffing eye, eye bag cream today. I, I wear it almost every day. So I, I love Tula products. This I think was a $12 add-on. $12 is a great price for it, don't get me wrong. If it had been uh, cheaper, I guess, I don't know. I don't even think that, I don't think that they do anything cheaper, maybe $5, I don't know, whatever. I might've added it on, I was really trying to be good. So I didn't do it, but she did get it. And I was like, I understand why, cause it's great. Okay, so this is another thing that she chose. She was not happy with how many lip products she had the option of. I shockingly enough only had a couple lip products, but this was the one she opted to go with. This is the Complex Culture Deal Closer Tinted Lip Cream in the shade. Mauve Nude, love the packaging on it, super cute. Kind of looks like a nail polish, but it's it's not. It's a lipstick. And oh, an interesting little wand. 
Uh, I think it's a little dark for her, maybe. Maybe she's very, very neutral. She really likes like very neutral shades, but I think she can definitely still use it. It's definitely not like a vibrant red or like something like that where she would never use it. So I'm interested to see how she likes it. Definitely we saw a lot of complex culture lips shades this month. So I'm thinking we may see them in the, the months to come as well. And maybe I'll hopefully get one at some point. This was also, this is her last choice I know cause she once again complained about how many choices of lip products she got. Um, this is a fruit butter lip mask from Seraphine Botanicals, which of course we've seen several Seraphine Botanical products in the past. It's a nice size. I'm trying to see how many ounces. Uh, it's half a fluid ounce, but for a lip, like a moisturizing lip cream, I think that's a nice thing. I personally like this product for this month. Um, I think it's a good thing to have going into winter. It uh, doesn't seem to matter. Like if it just gets chilly at all here, my skin gets incredibly chapped lips hands, everything. So I think, that, and that's why she chose it too. She was like, you know, going into winter, having something to moisturize my lips is not a bad thing. So let's see, we've got three of her products and I think we're just missing what they chose for her. Yes. All right. So I also, this is also something they chose for me. This is the Violet Voss. The core, it was like the coral pop or something. I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, so she got the, the cute little palette. I also have this in my bag. I love it. I love Violet Voss. Really adorable, nice little compact. I think it's a great thing to have like if you're going out of town and you like really classic colors. I love all the browns and the coral pop that's just right here in the center. You've got a really beautiful glitter shade, but five of the six shades are matte and that is what I prefer. I normally use all matte shades, one little glitter. I think this is something that you can make a really simple, really pretty eye look out of using almost all the colors. So uh, I'll probably try and do that. I keep saying that all of the vi all of the boxes that I got for the month of November, Ipsy, BoxyCharm, Glow Addict, they all had palettes that could do like an absolutely gorgeous eye look with. So I've got a lot of work to do to, to make those happen. But all right, let me pull out the rest of what she added on. And then this is the last thing they chose for her. It's a little bit smished, but I think it's fine. It's got like a pretty decent packaging, but it is the Yensa Silk Bronzing Base. And it comes with a really nice bronzer, huge, nice size. Um, I'm not, I, we've tried Yensa in the past. I know that we've gotten some products from them, but I don't know, I don't think I've tried a, like a bronze or anything from them. And then it does come with a nice little brush. So pretty good little duo there. Uh, the fact that you get a brush with it as well, I think makes it a nice product. So that's what they chose for her. Um, final add-on she got, she did add one eyeshadow brush. This is from Vasanti, I think is the name. She added the Cottage Greenhouse Pomegranate Facial Serum. She added the Cover Shot Eyeshadow Palette from Smashbox. And I think, I know I looked at it. I'm not sure that it, I have a lot of the Color Shot uh, ones because I actually really love them. Once again, I think they're great for traveling because they come with a, a good amount of colors, but they're very compact and very easy to travel with. Oh no, I definitely don't have this one, but it was mainly blue tones. And I don't, as I wear a blue shirt, I don't wear blue a lot. So I was like, well, I'm gonna pass on this. Oh, pretty though, it is pretty. She does like blue a lot because she does it as like kind of like an eyeliner shade. So that is the uh, the denim cover shop palette. And I think this was like maybe a $17 add on really cheap. These guys retail at $29. So that's a good price for it. That's what I normally try and get them for on sale at Ulta. So great addition. And then she also got a Smashbox lid primer and a Smashbox Los Angeles lip gloss. Uh, this actually might've been a set because they were all bundled together. So that might've been a Smashbox set. If that's the case, I have no damn clue what it, it retailed at. Maybe it was one of the $29 ones and maybe you got like the two for free. I don't, I don't know. That's what she got. Add-ons and all, really decent bag. I mean, the sale prices and everything, great. She was disappointed. I, I, and I understand where her complaints were coming from because most of her choices were somehow lip-based um, in, in multiple sections. Her choice two is basically all lip colors and she just chose her favorite. And then the final one she had the, the best product in her opinion was um, to opt to get a, um, the lip oil. I do understand her complaint. Still, I still, she talked about it. We talked about it. She still is like, I got my money's worth out of the bag. The $25 was definitely well spent. And then it also does of course get you access to the pop-up sale. So it's kind of hard to complain. I definitely have seen a lot of growth in Ipsy. And with that, I, I know, I mean, sometimes obviously we're gonna be disappointed with certain months, but I still think it's, I think, I think they're moving in a right direction, a direction of better change, if you guys will. So here's the backstory with mine. I chose my customization. I filmed it. We, sh we shared the video of it. Um, you guys watched it. And I know at least one person said, I didn't see anybody else get the Dr. Brandt um, pore 
scrub as an option. And it was what I chose because once again, that's like a, that's like a $78 product and I love Dr. Brand. So I was like, hell yeah, I'll choose that. Well, literally two or three days after I customized, I got an email from Ipsy saying basically, we did not send you the right matches to choose for your bag this month. And we apologize. And they sent me some sort of like a coupon or something like $5 off, something like that. I don't know, um, to use at the pop-up store. So they, they basically apologized. And I, I kind of was taken off guard from it. Cause I was like, I, I liked my choices as well. I wasn't unhappy with my bag at all. So I was like, that's weird. But yeah, so they emailed me that. I was, in fact, I just checked in the bag to make sure the Dr. Brandt came. Surprise, he did. Here he is, he, he showed up. So, cause I was honestly like, does that mean that they don't have it to send me? Does it, I don't know. They didn't specifically say the Dr. Brandt, but because of what other people had commented about them not seeing anybody else having this as a choice, that is what made me think, okay, maybe this was the product they were talking about that didn't fit in with my bundle. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't disappointed with it. Basically they apologized for something I wasn't mad about, but I did kind of like the fact that they reached out to me and they just said, hey, we messed up and uh, we would like to make it up to you. I, like I said, I, I didn't need an apology because I wasn't unhappy, but it was kind of nice to see this sort of proactive like, hey, we realized that we didn't do what we needed to on our part and we wanted to make you aware of it and apologize. So that was good, it was a, that was a nice thing on it, in my opinion. So so yes, yeah, so that was my first choice item in a little set. And I know if you guys watched the video of me choosing, I know you saw, I don't remember what was, once again, feels like 25 years ago, who knows what was included with that. There were two products. I think there was another eyeshadow palette that I really thought about getting, a Morphe one, maybe a, Maybe it's a face palette. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I was debating between a couple things and I wound up going with this because it was the higher price item. All right, next thing I chose was of course the Farrah brushes. Y'all know I've talked about it. Brushes, now if I can get an eyeshadow brush set that will keep me from having to wash my brushes for an extra couple days, then I will opt to do that. So now I just have a drawer full of these like little sets that I haven't opened yet. So when I ran out of all my, my main brushes, I can go, okay, time to move on. Let me tell you, last time I washed my brushes, I think it was September. So the strategy's working well, or I'm a garbage human. One of the two, one of the two, maybe both. Uh, the next thing that we have is my, that was my final choice product, which means the rest of it should be what they chose for me. Uh, this is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I love Ciate London. I always am looking for nice finishing powders and, oh no, I ripped the box. Yeah, good size. I love their packaging. I love their little bow and everything. But yeah, great size for the product. It's hard when a, there's a brand, Ciate London's one of those brands that they give me something and it's a choice and it's a product I know I'm gonna use. It's hard for me not to choose it. Their watermelon finishing powder, which was a pressed translucent setting powder that I got a couple months ago, I love. I figured it, you can't hurt to go with it. So I opted to go with that. I also, I was at, oh, that's right. I forgot what my my original choice was. So I got the, um, the Girlactic, Duo, it's like a trio thing. You can do eyeshadow, lip gloss, or highlighter maybe. But yeah, you, you get these like cute little duo pencil things. And then my mom got them last month. I, when I unboxed it, said they're precious. They were one of the choices I had for my third round and I chose not to get them. I chose to get an eyeshadow crayon instead. And I was kind of kicking myself for not going with it. Um, Cause I was like, those are real cute. Why did I do that? And then I got them this month and I was like, all right, cool. Well. Sometimes things work out in your favor and you don't even realize it. And then the final thing, of course, that we have is the Violet Voss little coral, I think it's Coral Pop. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. They don't say the name on it anywhere. It's just like Violet Voss. And I'm like, I know the brand. I'm trying to remember the name of the palette. Yeah, and there's my little guy, nice and intact. I really think, I, I definitely liked my bag better, if I'm being honest. Well, well that's part of it. If you, oh, I didn't even explain how we do Ipsy versus Ipsy. I just jumped right into it, like you all know. Basically, if you made it this far, congratulations, welcome. I'm very impressed that you don't know what the hell we do with Ipsy versus Ipsy, and I've just been rambling and you've stayed this long. Um, but basically, I take my mom's, which was the first one we unboxed, and I take mine, and then I compare the two, pick out my total favorite bag, and then I uh, choose the five favorite products. So. With that being said, my, my bag is definitely my favorite. I really feel like I got a good variety of stuff. Not super makeup heavy, but not not makeup heavy. I mean, I got the, I'm not, you know, I can't even say it's not makeup heavy because that would mean it was skincare heavy and it's not. It's just very diverse. It's not color, it's not pigment heavy. You know, normal. I've been used to getting two, two eyeshadow palettes and all that. I've been really 
get been very lucky since they've started this to um, not only have one chosen for me, but then also have the option to choose one uh, myself. And I wound up getting two. I did, I did have two in my choices this time, but I opted to go with the brushes or something over it. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, so I could have, if I wanted to go that route, I could have done that, but I opted to go with the brushes and the Dr. Brandt instead of getting multiple palettes, which I think is a great choice. So I definitely choose my bag as the winner. If I had to choose my top products, I would go with the Violet Voss. Uh, which both mom and I got, so that would technically be one for each. Um, I would go with my Farrah brushes because I really like those. I would go with my Dr. Brandt once again because that's a really nice product and I really like it. I would choose her Murad Retinol Cream though. That's one of those other good products. And honestly, I don't think I'm ever gonna get the choice between two to, to have two really nice high priced uh, skincare items in the same box, but I can dream on. So we're gonna put her Murad in there. And then I'm trying to, what the hell else did she get? Oh, she got the Complex Culture Lip Color, which was pretty. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go with my Girlactic uh, little duo as well. Um, so basically everything in my bag I would choose and I would just swap out the Ciate setting powder for the Murad just because the Murad is such a great product. Not that I dislike the Ciate at all. So that's it, we did it, go team. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I will start looking into more uh, what Glam Bag X is gonna entail. We need to talk about it, I know we do. There was a lot of videos that I needed to do this month and honestly just coming off of Halloween and then dealing with the house and everything I've just, I've been lax with filming. I'm sorry about that, but um, I will. I'll, I'll. I'll either get better with it, or we'll move into the house, and there, there will be some stagnant. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. There may be some weeks where we're a little bit stagnant, and I apologize for that ahead of time. But we're gonna do our best. Um, but I will always keep you guys updated on what I'm finding with these subscription box stuff and uh, and all that stuff, because I know we, we're all kind of riding along, waiting to see what's gonna happen with it. So yeah, if I can be your tour guide for part of it, then I'm gonna do my damnedest. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out a ton. If you like us, please join the Dark Angel family. We're always doing videos like this and other beauty related stuff and some random stuff. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.